Hello, parents and friends. I'm here. I'm going to go over lesson 14 for math. Uh, lesson 14, I'm going to read the objectives to you. Identify first and last in a linear configuration with two to 10 objects. So if you remember in lesson 13, we used two to five objects and our objects were scattered which meant they weren't in a line. We just had them all over the paper, or you may have had yours all over your table. Well, this time our objects or our dots are gonna be linear. That means that they're gonna be in a straight line. So I'm gonna start off on an index card, just like I did with lesson 13, where I actually drew dots on an index card. So if you like just to get your children warmed up, you could let them get a sheet of paper, or if you have an index card, that would be great. Allow them to get five crayons. Please make sure they choose five different colors. All right, I'm gonna count out five with you. Starting with my pinky. One, two, three, four, and five. Great job. All right, so I already went ahead and I drew my dots on my index card, starting with my first dot, which is orange. I'm gonna count my dots. One, two, three, four, and four. Five. After your children draw their dots on their paper, you can ask them, which dot did you touch first? Or which dot did you count first? So Miss Chase touched the orange dot first. And how do I know? Because it is the first dot I touched. Which one is the last dot? attached the black dot and how do I know because it is the last one I touched and also the last one I counted remember parents we're going to make sure we're checking for understanding because we want to make sure that the children understand what we're teaching them so our vocabulary that you're going to hear me say throughout this lesson is first and last so instead of doing scattered like we did for lesson 13. Today, we're gonna to do linear, which means it's gonna be in a straight line. All right, so I'll give you a couple of minutes just to gather some objects around your house. Anything that you like, just like we did for lesson 13. If you like, your child can get toys. Your child may want school supplies. If you like, you may have some fruit around the house that you may like for them to actually do this activity with. All right, so I'm gonna begin. I'm gonna do my activity with two-sided counters. On one side, my counter is yellow. On the other side, my counter is red. So I'm gonna start by putting my counters on my paper and hopefully the sticks. So my first counter is red. And I'm making sure that it's in a straight line, linear line. My second one is yellow. My last one is red. Now I'm going to go back to the first one and count. One, two, three. Now remember, parents, you can start off with two to ten objects. So you can start off anywhere from two objects and build up to 10. So you don't have to start right off with 10 objects. You can build your child up to 10 objects because we want to make sure that they understand what we're teaching them. So you can ask your child, which counter did I touch first? Well, the first counter that Ms. Chase touched is the red counter. 
And how do I know? Because it is the first one I attached. And what color is the last counter I attached? The last counter is also red. And then you can keep going. And if you like, you and your child can play a game out of this. You all can go take turns putting up the next object. So my next counter is yellow. My next one is red. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to count from the beginning. I know, friends, it looks like a pattern. And that's because it is. Let's go back and count from the beginning. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. Which color did you touch first? Very good. The red counter. And how do you know? Because it is the first one I attached. Remember, parents, from lesson 13, I said that it may be helpful to write on an index card the words first and the word last. So I'm going to place first under my first counter. And I'm going to switch this up because I want a different color to be my last one. And so my last counter is yellow. And how do I know? Because it is the last one I touch and I count it. And remember, so that it's helpful for the children to understand, you can place the word last under the last object. And now I'm going to touch and count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reminding your child that the first object they touch and count is the one that's first. And the last object they count is the last one. I'm sorry, I did not know that you could not see. Hopefully you all can see now, is the last one that you count. And then you can keep going on for practice until you go all the way up to the number 10. Now I'm going to switch this up just because I'm checking for the children understanding. So I'm going to change this color counter. I'm going to turn it around because now I want that color to be yellow. And I'm going to turn this one around to red. Now I'm going to add the rest of my counters out to make 10 counters in linear configuration. And then we're going to all count together. All right, we're going to touch and count starting with the first counter one two three four five six seven eight nine ten which color counter did Miss Chase touch first? Very good. The yellow counter. Miss Chase touched the yellow counter first. And how do I know? Because it is the first counter I touched. Which one is last? Well, the last counter that Miss Chase touched is the red counter. And how do I know? Because it is the last one I touched. Remember parents, we're gonna check for our children understanding. We're gonna make sure that we're switching those objects up so they're just not doing the same first and last activities at the same time because we wanna make sure that they understand as we add on more objects to that first 
and last. And remember, linear is when it's in a straight line. Um, let's have some fun with this. Let the children pick up their own objects around the house. Again, since we're at home and the children are taking this time um, to go over their work packets and we're all in the house quarantining during this time, maybe you all can do it with your family members, have them stand up in a straight line. And while they're standing in a straight line, you can have your child say which one is first and which one is last, making sure they use that vocabulary. And please check for understanding and ask them, how do you know? I hope this video was helpful. I will see you all soon. I hope that you are staying safe wearing your mask outside every day and washing your hands. I will see you soon. Bye.